So, Christina, uh, you are among one of the new entry of the second, this is the second season of Halo. And so I'd like to ask you, what was the biggest challenge in playing this character, ovvero uh, Tyler Paris, and becoming part of an already established and loved project? First of all, it was, I mean, obviously when I found out that I was going to be part of Halo season two, I was like, this is amazing. I was thrilled and, and very grateful to be part of this, this great show, you know, and, and I think the, the biggest thing for me was to be part of a, of a family already established, you know, because when you get to the season two, everyone know each other and I'm, and it's like, okay, how am I going to come to this new family? And I'm the newbie, you know, and, and, Thankfully, everyone was so amazing and everyone was so welcoming to me. And I think they, they made it so easy. And honestly, the the challenge was to to just make it great. You know, we all wanted to to make something amazing and something that people can connect and that people outside from like not only the fans of Halo, the video game can connect, but also the people that don't know the video game can connect. Like for us, it was very important to make characters more human, you know, that they have bad things and good things and and make it real. And I think that's that's like the, the biggest the biggest thing and the biggest accomplishment for, for season two, 100%. You have talked already about humanity and humans uh, and so I, i'd like to ask you uh, in a story where androids and aliens are the protagonists uh, in the clash to save the humanity uh, caporal perez uh, is one of the human components so what is her greatest uh, asset i think like, her i think you guys are going to see it i don't want to ruin it but i think her greatest asset is that she understands the covenant she understands what they're trying to say to them to us i mean and she also understands that the spartans are humans so she she's the one that i think pulls both the worlds together you know and it's like okay why why are we fighting what's the real purpose why why is humanity come to this point and like you said yeah the aliens are the, the the main thing but we can definitely compare it in in real life you know i think that's the, the great thing about science fiction is like we we use parallelisms and and that's that's a great way to for people to question reality versus versus non-reality and and I think my my character is is really good at that, and and it's really good. She becomes master chief. I mean, partner in crime in a way. And and I think people are gonna connect with that relationship a lot because she she's gonna make him realize he's human, and he can feel things, and he can care, and he and he can cry, and he can, you know can uh connect with himself but have you found some points in common with with the uh, capital paris uh, a of, lot of, of your personality yeah a lot of things in common i think she i think my character talia when something big happens with her family um she starts questioning the point of life she starts questioning why why are we here you know, and I was really weird because me in my personal life, I'm I'm at that point in life where I'm like questioning that. I'm like, what why are we here? Like, yeah, I'm an artist and I, I, I love being on set and I love all that, but what's what's next? What's what's what else is out there? You know, like why why are we here? Why how do we connect every single thing? And I think my character is like going through that same question. And and it was very, very interesting because there's no answer. <laughs> <laughs> so you have made a journey with her. Yes, I, I I did. At least for her, there's no answer. Just just like, okay, let's do it and let's let's enjoy the ride. <laughs>
And, and what about being an actress and, and being an artist? What does it mean for you? Yeah, it means, it means a lot. It means um, we have a responsibility to, especially if you if you're in front of a TV or, or um, like in front of the camera, you have a responsibility to tell a good story and to to make a change as little as that can be, like, you know, to give a smile, to question someone, to create space where that person that is watching you can connect with whatever the character is feeling. Um, so I think, yeah, being an, an artist, an actor or a director or any type of actor, uh, any type of artist, it's, it's, it's being responsible of what you got to say and what, what you want to communicate and why you want to communicate that. And, and because people, people listen to you and people pay attention to you. And I feel like every single thing that we become part of, it has to have a really good reason about about message and about how people react to to the things that an artist or a movie can um can give what about hello i mean this series is a in a fictionalized tv adaptation of an, uh, a successful video games uh, but in your opinion uh, which which uh, is the most important message that it uh, it can give I think the most important message on season two, it's that we cannot do this alone. And we cannot carry on with life pretending that alone you can do everything. That's that's a that's a huge lie. And we we need to stand together as as a community, you know, and as 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 a world, as a one thing, as Romantic as that may sound, I really think that's the only way we can survive in on Halo or in real life. And I think that's the that's the biggest thing about Halo. That and that's what I was so thrilled about about season two and about being part of it. Because when I when when I became part of it, when uh David, the showrunner, sent me the scripts, I even sent him a message and I was like, I'm so thrilled to be part of the story that has meaning has purpose and it's trying to with this big name as halo is trying to give something to the people that they can actually question themselves and connect and realize that the only way to do this it's together and even master chief as omnipotent as he may be he needs his whole team to save the world. He cannot do it alone. 